Let's now come back over, just zoom in, look at the lot. Okay, let's do our side elevation now, which means essentially we cut and paste all of this. Pull it back where it was originally. Copy it, paste it over to here. And of course, being a technical drawing, elevations have got to line up, which they did. Okay, so I'm going to basically, I've copied it across. Now I'm just going to align the views again. So I'm going to align the center of that with the center of that bolt hole, which I just have done. Just check. Center mark. Yep, okay. So from here, you've already done the hard work. It is just so difficult to um, put everything together now. We'll just pick the center mark, make sure we're not making a copy. And I'll put that over there. Done. Four. And this one. I'm going to, even though that hole technically doesn't fit yet, that's because there's two different holes drawn in section. There should be a second one on that. So I'm going to just copy that and from there to there. Why the difference? The sheave is only 99 and a half mil. The The sheave's only 99 mil. I'll have to come back in and put it in. The um, sheave pin is 100 mil round. So there is that one mil or half a mil both size difference that you're looking at just there. Done. Just like so. Now I'm going to copy and paste the other cheek plate. Okay, now we're going to copy that across from the center mark to the center mark. Check up the top, they are parallel. So there's our section back again. This is why I was giving everything a different sectional appearance when we were um, putting things together, when I was doing all the sectioning work earlier. Now in here, of course, that's 60 degrees and 3.175. I'm going to have to delete all the sectioning in the cheek plates. Up here. And remove that because that's not visible in the view. And put it back in, it, put the um, cross hatching back in again. 60 degrees, 3.175. That error, you cannot put fill in, is because you cannot see the whole outline. Done. Let's now drag the washer across. Once again, I have a center mark. Just making sure that I have center marks so I don't have to do things five times. And so I might drag the bolt onto it first. One bolt. We're only um, looking at the end of the bolt as it sticks out of the um, nut. And the nuts are generally not sectioned when you do a sectional drawing. It's only if they're a threaded inside an assembly. Done. 
So that is what we need for the bolt head. I'm going to just mirror that just to save a bit of time. Mirror that about here. Done. Okay, I'm going to mirror that about there. Done. And same thing, just delete the lines I don't want. Let's just put in these two bolt facets that I removed by accident. So there's the top sheave done. I'm just going to replace and redo this one. go to the other side and just remove everything. Okay, now let's just mirror that. Mirror that about the center mark. Done. So there's our shaft support drawn. Oh, sorry, the um, 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 space is drawn in place. Lastly, let's take our mate, the um, taper pin. Same thing, I will need a center mark on the taper pin. Let's just draw a center up pin. I'll just delete that later. Okay, there's our taper pin in place. Let's now drag up the bearing block. Goes into place. Let's now split that line. Split that at the point of intersection. Split that. Point of intersection. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Later on, I'm going to know that I'm going to have to delete all this, so I'm doing it first instead, just to make life quicker and easier. Done. Now let's drag up the um, bottom half of the bearing block from there to there. Done. And I missed a bit of that sectioning work that I need to do, or missed a bit of the splitting work that I need to do. So that's those three bits done. I'm going to just come up here. I'm going to remove this entire taper pin because I'm going to put the crane hook in at 90 degrees to how it was originally placed, being that it's a sectional view and an end section, 150 degrees, 3.175. Go back through and put that in anyway. 
Okay, so let's put up the end view of the crane hook as we see it here. I've still got the center line of the taper pin there, which is good. Because I'm going to move that from that's the center of the taper pin. Going to there. And while I have it all there, I'm going to turn that blue so I can actually see what's going on. So I know which lines to remove. Because it can get confusing. None of that you see. The crane, the thread on the crane hook takes precedence over the thread on the internal block. That's out there. That's out there. That one there needs to be deleted. That's out there. Done. Now all I've got to do is just put that up into position. Just redo that. The distance between those two measurements or those two inside corners is ninety nine, is one hundred. The distance here on this crane hook is 99. I need to basically get the center of that crane hook there to align stuff. So let's just draw a line across here. Now I've got a center mark I can use to copy and paste with. So I'm going to move everything from there. there and now as you can see I've got the neat half a mil gap I've got the neat half a mil gap I've got the um, slight tolerance there while I'm zoomed in that doesn't exist that's good That's out, that's out, that's out, and that's out. Certainly looks good to me. Now I just remove that. Two washers, two nuts, job is finished. Let's push this back over again this washer and this swivel block are allowed to pivot freely that washer sits on here it does not touch the cheek plate the way it's designed that is 25 the hole on the inside of the washer is 22 mils which means that you can never ever have that washer hard up against the inside of the, or the, that washer will never be rubbing on the cheek plate and wearing a hole in it, which is a good when it's a crane. You really don't want to wear a hole in your load bearing plate. So I'll just delete what's unnecessary. One part of me says I should section the washer, and one part of me says do that, which I've just done. Okay, over here I'll just remove everything. 
still missed a bit if I had a look at that. Done. Now I just mirror this straight across. Want to mirror all of that about here. Done. There is one finished drawing. There is your sectional end elevation. There is your front view. They are removed sections. If that section I take from there and pop it into the actual drawing like so, then it's a rotated section. But of course, if I put three rotated sections into there, it'll be incredibly noisy. So there is our finished drawing. I'll hit save and I'll upload it.